cancer whenever you hear this term what did you imagine prolonged illness followed by the death but do you know this thing that many countries are claiming that they had made vaccine for the cancer hello and welcome to the in depth series of drishti is i am ritu and today's session is about cancer vaccine and this session is important for your gs 3 perspective moving towards the points of discussion part so first of all we are going to discuss the news then we are going to discuss about the vaccines then we are going to discuss about the what are the available options we have in terms of vaccine and then practice question for prelims before that you have to like share and subscribe to this gip channel so moving towards the news part so the news is that a recent report by russia that russia has made cancer vaccine and that vaccine is working against the tumor and metastasis in pre clinical trials so this is the news which has created a lot of discussion on cancer vaccine and different treatments available for the cancer so moving towards the discussion part so before moving to the discussion part i want to make an important announcement for you new year is coming and on the occasion of new year drishti is has come up with the huge discount offer so drishti is giving you 50% discount on all online pen drive courses and test series and for all books and dlp you can uh, avail 25% discount you can also download a drishti learning app now and this is the time period 28 to 31st december if you want to know more information about any kind of a discount you can call on to the number 8750187501 8750187501. so coming to the discussion part the discussion is that what russia has uh, told about the vaccine and what are the reports we have so according to the reports in the russian media the vaccine can be personalized with genetic mutations being detected in less than an hour using artificial intelligence so whatever the vaccine is available that is personalized in nature it means that you have a different kind of problem suppose that one person got cancer and the person has a different kind of the problem so after analyzing what kind of problem with the help of ai the vaccine will be injected into that person so russians can they can get these cancer shots for free from early next year so they had made this free for their citizen and next year they are going to uh, campaign and uh, what you can say launch vaccine against the cancer and it says that personalized mrna vaccines will be based on the genetic analysis of each person's tumors or unique software platform this we already had discussed and the individualized vaccines based on this information will be train body's immune system to recognize and target the cancer cell so whenever we discuss about any kind of vaccines or any kind of oral therapy so what we have seen that a generalized in terms of covid also we can see that a generalized vaccine has been made and that has been injected to every kind of the person but here in terms of the cancer what russia is saying that there will be the personalized vaccine according to the situation of the patient so now we'll come to the other reports so major medical breakthrough so this has been a huge question that is it a big medical achievement by russia so the answer is no because uh, we had tried to analyze various information on that what russia has researched what kind of trials it has done so what we have found that according to a website based in russia so experts said that absence of detailed data on the russian formulation they were not sure how it could work and the availability of research data in russian and chinese institute has often posed a challenge because this particular vaccine is prepared by gamelia national research center of epidemiology and this particular research center has already prepared the sputnik 5 which was used against the covid 19 and that has created a lots of criticism and a lot of medical questions because many medical experts had questions that the samples were very small many samples have a similar findings so we cannot be sure that whatever the russia is claiming is it a big medical achievement in terms of the cancer treatment so 
now here we'll discuss about that how do cancer vaccines work so unlike the other vaccines so suppose that if you want to prevent from any kind of disease so we inject preventary uh, vaccines or precautionary vaccines into that person but in case of the cancer the person who has got the cancer will get only cancer vaccine so this is a different and cancer vaccines have a very different approaches they can be given in combination with other treatments for better outcomes or they can given for the maintenance to prevent relapse so what we can see that here a supplementary or what you can say complementary treatment is required so that the vaccines uh, if any case it relapses so other can work and various doctors and experts had cautioned that we should not be much happy in the pre achievement of the any kind of cancer trials because it is a very individualized things and the sample and the success is very small and we had not achieved a very big success in terms of the cancer vaccine so we have to be very cautious into this thing and there is no cancer vaccine that can work for all types of cancer so each cancer has a different kind of treatment so there is no uniform uh, vaccines which can be injected into a person and the person can be cured so here we'll come to the so there are any approved cancer vaccines yet so cancer vaccines such as this come under the category of immunotherapy it means that along with the vaccines they also try to improve your immune so that your immunity can fight to the cancer so this is the thing and the only cancer vaccine approved by the us fda is cypress t which was green lighted in 2010 for treatment of prostate cancer but here also we cannot have a very big achievement and the personalized vaccine was developed by the collecting the patient's immune cells exposing it to a protein found in a high level in prostate cancer cells so this is only verified uh, cancer vaccines we have but we cannot tell that this is working against all kind of the person this is effective against the prostate cancer and that too not on a large scale because the case is different and the vaccine is based on the personalized way or individualized way so here comes to the question that are there any vaccines preventable cancers so yes uh, in terms of india what we have seen that there was a uh, cervical cancer which was uh, given vaccinated against the hpv and which is effectively working because those women who got such kind of vaccines so there are high chances that they can be prevented from the cervical cancer and there is a also age uh, decided that if you can take vaccines up to the age of 26 that could be the more effective in some cases uh the people who are beyond 26 they can also take but the uh, age is also decided and it is working positively and many women are saved from the cervical cancer so this is about the cervical cancer now here comes to the question part vaccination against which pathogen can significantly reduce the incidence of cervical cancer hepatitis b human papilloma virus epstein barr virus hepatitis c this is very easy one you can answer into the comment section and you can also think about that how we can effectively manage the reducing number of the cancer because cancer is a deadly disease and in many cases what we have seen that despite of having a treatment the person is living just for few months so here many doctors had also suggested that before uh, analyzing and before introducing any vaccines in the market we have to also see the cost benefit analysis and what would be the cost benefit analysis so suppose that if you are investing in a country like india i am just giving you example in if you are investing 20000 for one shot it means that one person 
needs uh, what you can say suppose that one person needs a uh, 10 vaccines so it would be around 2 lakhs and after spending 2 lakhs the person is surviving for one or two months then this is a very bad cost benefit so we have to make it very uh, what you can say economically friendly so that every class and every body could be afford and people can prevent themselves uh, from the cancer and in fact uh, in India many people got uh, this cancer and they died because they do not have money to treat cancer. So, this is also one of the alarming situation that we need to make treatment very economically friendly so that every class could afford and we need to find out a solution which can work against all the cancers. So, that is it for today's session. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries later to this session, kindly ask in to the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.